name is Nali. I'm 24 years old, and this July I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And you know, when I was first asked to come speak to you guys here today, the first thing I thought of was like, wow, I have to talk about my boobs in front of a bunch of Alouette football players. <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> but no, now you're probably all looking at me right now thinking, wow, she's really young. And you're right, we're really used to seeing you know, people with breast cancer 50 years and up, and uh, we see the pink ribbons and the campaigns, and we think of our mothers, our grandmothers, we just think of others, but we never really think it's gonna happen to us. At least, I didn't. So, I keep wondering, why me? And then, I actually received my results from the genetic research that we were doing to see if I carried the BRCA gene, which is the breast cancer gene um, that you have, which proves it to be hereditary. I don't carry the gene. And like a lot of you guys here today, I've always been the athletic and sporty type. Um, all my life, I grew up playing basketball, and I used to dance, I was on the cheerleading squad in university. I'm a regular at the gym, and I eat really healthy. So where did I go wrong? Like, what did I do to deserve to have this tumor growing inside my left breast? And I guess that's why a lot of research still needs to be done, and which is why you guys are all here today to support that. Um, but for my part, during my cure, I stopped asking why. Because asking why and trying to figure out why this happened to me, oh God, how come me out of the three and a thousand women, they, they say I'm a 0.3% chance to be diagnosed under, 30, um, under the age of 30. Why did I have to be one of them? I don't think there's a point to that because it just takes too much of your time and your energy to focus on figuring out why when you can actually focus on your cure and getting better and doing better and better yet being the person that you've always wanted to be. So I had a choice. It was either I remain the outgoing, sociable, extroverted person I am or that I hide and isolate myself from the world which is a lot, what a lot of people do. But instead, I decided to do the complete opposite. And that's how I started Nally.ca. I don't know if you guys have visited it, but it's a blog that I started, and it's basically my online diary. And I started recording and writing about the events of my life from the day that I found out that I had cancer, the moment that I left the hospital, that they announced it. And, uh, Ever in my blog, you'll see I share moments where I have my long, beautiful, black, thick hair, and I'm talking to the camera, and I go to my first treatments. Um, you'll see when I go to my first chemo, and when I start slowly losing my hair, to the moment where I look at myself in the mirror, and I'm completely bald, and I'm like, shit, <laughs> this is happening for real. So. You'll see from my highest highs to my lowest lows, everything is on there with nothing to hide for you, all for you to read, watch, and share. Um, I honestly started writing it for myself as my release, and I, not, I never thought anyone would read it. But ever since I released it, there's been over 150,000 hits on my blog, and um, from all around the world. But honestly, it's not even about the number. Ever since I've been having people with cancer and without cancer write to me on the daily and telling me how my blog has hum somehow helped them cope and that I've inspired them and that I've changed their, their lives. My journey has been actually really exciting. Um, earlier this month, I ran 5K um, for the Run for the Cure with Team Nally, and all together we raised, yeah, we raised $27,000 for the Quebec Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, I've been featured on CTV, CBC, Global, Huffington Post, and now I'm here talking to you guys tonight. I guess it's like I finally found my purpose. I wrote a poem in my blog, it's called The C Word, and in it I say, 
it's too easy to make 10% of what happens to you in life a disaster because 90% is how you react to it and I choose to with laughter. So yes, I am here to talk to you guys today and tell you that I have breast cancer. I'm young, I'm healthy, so really, it could happen to anybody. So ladies and gentlemen, get your boobs checked. But more importantly, I wanted to be here to remind you that with any problems you may face, any challenges, any battles you have to fight, whether, you, um, whether it's a bad game or a bad breakup or you're not really where you want to be in life right now. I know it's cliche to say, but everything happens for a reason and you just got to figure that out. And once you do, it's up to you to make the most of it. So if you want to visit my blog and read more about my story, my contact info is all there. It's nali.ca, N-A-L-I-E dot C-A. Thank you very much and I wish you all very happy and healthy lives.